Hello, and welcome to another production from the Technology Training Team, a department of the Prince George's County Public Schools IT Division. In a previous video, we showed you how to access the PGCPS email service called Gmail with a mobile web browser. The browser is fine for reading and sending the occasional email, but what if you check your email often and are tired of having to log in every time? What if you want to use some of Gmail's more advanced features? Well, today we're going to show you how to set up the Gmail mobile app and look beyond merely reading and replying to emails. Let's get started. First, let's talk about downloading the Gmail app. If you have an Android phone, chances are you already have the Gmail app. If for some reason you don't, or if you are an iPhone user, you need to go to your phone's app store and download the free application. Simply open the app store, search for Gmail, and it should come up among the results. Please make sure you download the app made by Google. There are a lot of apps out there that can use Gmail, but we want to focus on the official one. In the Apple App Store, it should look like this. In the Google Play Store, it should look like this. After you install the app on your phone, it will appear on your home screen. Touch the icon to launch the app. If you just downloaded the app for the first time, you see a login screen. Touch the sign in button. From the list of services, select Google. If you see a pop-up window asking for permission to use Google.com, click Continue. Enter your full PGCPS email address and touch Next. You now see the PGCPS email login screen that you would normally see in the mobile browser. Enter your PGCPS username and password then touch Login. You may be asked if the Gmail app can send you notifications. Touch Allow. You now see your email inbox. From now on, you will be able to access it immediately whenever you open the app without having to log in. Well, at least not until the next time you have to change your password. Please remember that PGCPS will require that you change your password every 90 days. Okay, we've seen what the Gmail app looks like if you're setting it up for the very first time, but what if you already had it on your phone and it opens immediately to a different email account? If you have an Android device, chances are that's the personal Google account that you use to set up your phone in the first place. If that is the case, you just need to add your PGCPS account. Look for the icon or avatar in the upper right corner. That indicates the selected account. Touch it to see a list of options. Touch Add Another Account. Sign in with your PGCPS credentials as described earlier in this video. If you have more than one Google account, you can touch the icon in the upper right corner again to change which inbox you want to view. Or, if you would rather see both inboxes at once, you can touch the List icon in the upper left corner, then select All Inboxes. Now you will see email messages from all your email accounts together in the same list. To create a new message, touch the Compose button at the bottom of the screen. Enter the recipient email address in the To line. Enter a brief description of the topic in the Subject line. Then type the message in the body of the email. When ready, touch the Send button. If you've just sent a message and realize you forgot to add something, or perhaps wish you could change something you wrote in the message, don't worry. You have a few seconds to stop the message from going out. Just touch Undo at the bottom of the screen. Touch an existing message to read it. Gmail automatically gathers messages from the same subject and people together, so you can see them all together like a stack of papers. You can view previous messages in the chain by touching one. If there are many messages in the chain, it may compress them and show the number of messages instead. Touch the number to expand and see the entire chain. To reply to a message, touch Reply. Then type your response. You can also add new recipients to the chain before sending. When ready, touch the Send button. If you want to send the message separately to someone who is not on the email chain, touch Forward. 
enter the email address of the person you want to receive it. You can add an additional comment at the top of the email chain if you want. Then press the Send button. CC stands for Carbon Copy, and just like with a real carbon copy letter, you might add an email address to the CC line if you want the recipient to be aware of the email you are sending, but not necessarily respond to it. For example, your supervisor might request that you send an email to someone and CC them so that they also have record of it. In that situation, you would enter the primary recipient email address in the To field, and your supervisor's email address in the CC text box. Keep in mind that the recipient email will be able to see the email address of the person in the CC text box. BCC stands for Blind Carbon Copy. On rare occasions, you may wish to add someone as a CC without allowing other recipients to see the email address of the person then you would add the email address to the BCC text box rather than the CC text box. Once you've been using Gmail for a while, your inbox will start to fill up. It's important to keep it organized or you may lose track of important messages and announcements. Once you have replied to a message, go ahead and archive it. You can swipe left or right from the inbox to archive a message. If the message is currently open, you can simply touch the archive button. Either way, it will archive not only the most recent message, but the entire email chain. To locate the message again, simply use the search function. If there is a specific email message you want to be able to access easily, you can star it. If the message is open, touch the star icon in the upper right next to the subject line. If you are on the inbox screen, touch the star on the right side of the message header. To view starred messages, touch the list icon in the upper left of the inbox screen, then touch starred. Here you see a list of the messages that are important to you. These are only a few of the many incredible features in Gmail. There are snooze features, send later features, organizational tags, automatic responses, and more. Check out Google's tutorials or look for additional videos and classes from the technology training team if you want to learn more. This has been another video from the Technology Training Team. Thanks for watching.